This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Getting started. Import Painter Plus Java from the backpack. Cool. So backpack a poo. Painter Plus Java. Let me go ahead and hit import. Quapow. Now, if you don't have that, students, make sure to hit new file. You need to name it exactly what that says. And then you can copy the code over from here, but you should have it by now. All right. Write a parameterized, oof, don't let these words scare you, constructor for the Painter class, Painter Plus class. Cool. So Painter Plus class, which I just imported, ta-da, here's our constructor for it. Now, parameterized, if you recall way back when we talked about what parameters were, um, are options you could consider within a method. So right here, this string.color is a parameter and you're going to pass along some information when you run this method. So for this one in particular, paint line, if I was over here in the neighborhood class and I had a instance of the painter plus object, then what I would do is, you know, whatever, my painter plus dot dot paint line was the name of the method. And right here, we've seen this a bunch, white. Okay, so that right here, this word white, and don't let these confuse you. The word argument and the word parameter are often used interchangeably. They're very close to the same thing. A parameter, though, is when you make a method and you say string color, right? This thing that allows people, allows information to be passed to this method, string color, this is the parameter. Now, when I actually run this paint line method over here, and give it white or red or blue or, you know, whatever. When I give it some information, this is the argument, right? So oftentimes, though, even college professors will interchange these two words, parameter and argument. The parameter is technically when you're creating the method right here. The argument is when you're calling the method and passing information. That being said, they want us to do a constructor. All right, well, what was that constructor again? Plop. A constructor is this thing. The constructor is the item that when you create an instance of the class, you call this method. And what I'm saying, or what we mean, and we've done this a million times, guys, painter plus equals my painter plus, right? My painter plus equals new painter plus, blop, blop, parentheses, bam. This right here is the call to the constructor. And what that means is it says, hey, computer, I'm creating a new painter plus object. Computer says, fine. And I say, I'm calling it, right? It's like giving a variable a name. I don't need that anymore. I'm calling it my painter plus. The computer says, okay, cool. So now what? Equals new. Oh, okay, okay. We're going to generate something. I have to run something. What am I? New what? Painter plus. Computer sees this parentheses and says, what? Okay, I need to go hunt. Mm -hmm. Where am I going to hunt? Oh, the Painter Plus class. Blop. Oh, well, what do I need to run? Uh, oh, yeah, Painter Plus. Blop. And it runs this. All this does is pass, right? All we have is super right now. So we're just passing it all of the methods, all of the functionality that the original Painter class had. Now, what they want us to do is use parameters. And how we can go about doing that, let's see, for the Painter class. These parameters could be used. The parameter constructor for painter class is, ooh, this is perfect. So I'm actually gonna copy this guy. I just don't wanna miss anything here. Copy. Yep, that's looking good. Bam. Now I need to do, oop, I lost the letter. Public painter, blah, 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 blah. And yes. So. This is the information they're going to want to pass to the Painter class. Interesting. We're not going to pass it to Painter Plus itself, though. So notice how this says Painter. We're in the Painter Plus class. So what are we using to reference Painter then? Right? What's the only thing in this Painter Plus class that's touching on Painter? We ask Painter to be extended right here. But when we run the constructor... The only time we're actually doing that, the computer's forced to go and grab and take a look at Painter is right here. So this word super, because super is going to automatically reference. It forces the computer to say, hey, look up. And it says, look up, look up where? What's super? What's above me? What is super? And the computer says, shh, 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 and what? Oh, it, I extend what? 
oh, the painter. So the painter is above me. So that is when super will run the painter constructor. If we want to add parameters, if we want to pass some arguments into the painter class and the body of the constructor called super with parameters x, y, direction, and paint. Copy. I need them here. This way, we can pass that information. Except, there's still going to be an issue with this. The issue with this is these are not defined here. We should just be passing this information along. Where does this information get actually entered? How do we have access to it? It comes from up here. Let me show you what I mean. Copy. So, if we want to pass something along to the extended painter class, which is what they're asking us to do, if we want to do that, when we create painter plus, we need to provide it the that information immediately. And then we can reference it. So we'll pass those data values and the constructor. And then we can go ahead when we call the constructor of painter by using the super keyword, we can pass along that information and have those values actually set within the class. I wish they gave us access to see this class. Ooh, also, we should leave in place because this is constructor overloading. We still want that blank one. Super. So the user or whoever could still instantiate painter plus without providing this information to the painter class. However, at this point, if they would like to, they now have the option to do painter plus and provide the X, the starting X, Y direction and uh, paint available. Instantiate. Oh, cool. Perfect. And they're actually going to have us use this. Fancy. So here it was before, right? And it's just nothing's in there whatsoever. Except they want us to instantiate it with some information. Let's see what we have here. Two, 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 south, and 16. So now, instead of automatically starting wherever we did, the painter should start here. Two, well, at two, two. Let's see. Let's see here. Notice the green. So, zero, one, two. Yep. Zero, one, two. Putcha. Hey, we did it. Guys, this stuff is complicated. So, you might practice it once. You might practice it ten times. I want to keep showing you, actually, here. I want to do it more. Because this is just, woo, it's a lot, right? Boom, I get bumped over. Now, we're not able to see the Painter Plus class, the Painter class itself with this. If you're curious what it looks like, what I'm assuming they have in the Painter class is something like int x location equals zero. And then, and same with y and all of this other information. And then what's most likely happening here is they have public painter nothing. So they can still do that. And then they also have one with these optional parameters where you can directly set the X location. They're doing stuff under the hood. Regardless, we're learning some complicated stuff. We're now able to pass information to a constructor and impact, uh, impact the attributes of an object upon during creation. Fancy. Onward.